What rate of interest compounded annually is required to triple an investment in 28 years? So first I want to start off with this piece of information in the problem that our interest is compounded annually. So that tells me what formula to use. I'm going to use the formula A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT. Let's take a moment to make sure we understand all the pieces of this formula. So P stands for the principal. which is our initial amount of money. Initial or starting amount. R is your interest rate, your annual interest rate. T is for time in years. N is the number of compoundings in one year. Compoundings refer to how often, how often interest is added into the account. Most savings accounts would add interest monthly and N would be 12 for 12 months in a year. Or some accounts could be quarterly. In that case, N would be 4 because interest would be added or compounded four times in a year. In this example, it says compounded annually, so our N will be 1 once a year. And then finally, we have A. A is our accrued amount or our ending amount the amount after a certain time period so in this problem it says what rate of interest so that means R is our unknown that we're trying to find I already mentioned that it says compounded annually which tells us that n is 1, is required to triple the investment. That's going to be important in just a minute. Triple in 28 years. So t is 28. Now for tripling, tripling the investment, that's telling you the relationship between your principal, your initial investment, and A, your accrued amount. So because we're trying to triple the investment, A will be equal to 3 times P. Triple the principal is what we're trying to achieve. Now with all this information, we should be able to substitute values into our formula and solve for our unknown R. So let's start with our formula. A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT. A is 3P. We're trying to triple our investment. P, 1 plus R is our unknown. N, the number of compoundings is 1. And 28 in for time. So we're going to solve this. First let me do a little bit of cleanup. R over 1 is the same thing as R and 1 times 28 is 28. Now to solve this I can divide both sides by P. That's going to cancel out the P on both sides leaving me with 3. On the right, I'll have 1 plus r to the 28th. Now to solve this, I could take the 28th root of both sides. Now 
the 28th root and the 28th power will cancel each other out, leaving me with 1 plus r on the right. And then I can get r by itself by subtracting 1 on both sides. So r is equal to the 28th root of 3 minus 1. Let's type that in the calculator to get a decimal approximation. So to type the 28th root, I'm going to rewrite this as 3 to the 1 over 28 minus 1. So you can write radical expressions as exponents. So I have 3 to the 1 over 28 power minus 1 and our rate is 0 .0400 zero zero. and we typically write these rates in percentage form so I'll move the decimal point two places to the right to get 4% so we would need a 4% interest rate to triple our money in 28 years Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.